Welcome to today's vlog. 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 It's a weird word. Today is Easter Eve and because a lot of my family serves at church all day on Sunday, we're going to do Easter with my family this afternoon. So I figured I'd vlog today. Now, just a minute ago, you saw I was chunking some coconut oil in my mouth and you might be wondering, what was she doing? While well, I was doing oil pulling, if you want to know what that is, you can check out my morning routine and I talk a lot more about that there. <coughs> morning voice. <clears throat> but another fun fact about coconut oil, while I was in the shower, I was swishing that around, but I shaved my legs also with coconut oil. I use it instead of shaving cream because it's cheap because I have it. It's natural, it makes my skin soft, and it works really good. I use coconut oil for about everything. We're gonna have a big lunch today, so it's really important that I have a good, healthy breakfast. It's really important to me that I get lots of healthy fats, a good source of protein, and a ton of veggies in every meal, including breakfast. So I'm gonna make some eggs with a ton of veggies, probably mushrooms, spinach, and zucchini. <laughs> Literally addicted to it now, it's weird. I'm making an omelet and I'm going to put veggies in there so I want to show you just how much veggies I'm using. And bear in mind, most of this wilts down a ton. So this is a lot of vegetables. Here's my omelet, lots and lots of veggies, healthy fats from the egg and avocado and the coconut oil that I cooked it in. And it's going to be super good. I might top it with some of this Cholula hot sauce to change it up. We're going on a trip. And our favorite rocket ship. I don't know the rest of the song. Going through the sky, little Einstein. <laughs> it's the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Get out of my car. I'm. He won't touch me. Watch. <laughs> Sweet potato, asparagus, I don't even know what this little patty is. Chicken and this Brussels sprout salad. I think it's like a veggie patty. patty. I'm looking for anything sweet. Here's all the desserts. I think I do want one of these. James, did you eat that whole thing? Yeah. You know how bad it looks the next day it looks. <laughs> Hey guys, I just got home from our Easter lunch with family and now James is heading to work and I'm just gonna rest a little bit. I wanted to update you and also thank you so much for all the incredible love, prayers, and support and feedback for my last video. I know I was super raw and honest and showed you a rough day. I was overwhelmed by the response. But just an update on where I'm at right now. You know, I had that really hard week where I relapsed a little bit and then I feel like I'm kind of getting out of that, but when I'm out of that, it's still not very good. I deal with the randomest stuff, like I had nausea one day, then yesterday I had the worst brain fog ever. And then I've had hot flashes kind of things, like really crazy stuff. But today my energy levels are better than they have been, but I'm still trying to pace myself and take it easy because I can so easily do too much. So I'm gonna rest for a little bit now, probably watch some YouTube or Netflix or something. I think it's about 4.30. I have just been resting and watching different videos about CFS, but James won't be home until later, so I think I'm gonna get a snack. Let's go do that. I'm gonna try something new. I think I want to do like an avocado chocolatey smoothie. So that's what I have in mind now to create the recipe. Okay, I've got my smoothie blending cup. First, I'm gonna add a big ol' handful of baby spinach. I'm telling you guys, I get my greens in as much as I can at every meal. Now I'm gonna do half of a small avocado. I'm gonna eyeball about a half a cup of blueberries. Somewhere in there. Okay, I like to add lots of good powders. 
first some bone broth protein powder to make this last longer I'm just gonna do half of a scoop I've talked a lot about this in other videos bone broth is so incredibly good for you look it up uh, just over half of the scoop I've got maca powder this is a super food and it's great for hormonal functional functioning hormonal stuff um, I'm on the hormonal struggle bus now the key to making this chocolatey is this raw cacao powder. Cacao is an unprocessed form of cocoa and this is one of the best sources of antioxidants you can get anywhere. So I'm gonna do a couple teaspoons of that to make it extra chocolatey. I added some cinnamon too. Now almond milk. Unsweetened vanilla is my favorite kind to use because the vanilla in it makes it actually taste like something but it's unsweetened and we don't want that sweet and sugary almond milk stuff. A little bit of ice. Okay, now I've got it all blended up and my favorite way to top my smoothies, just a little bit of chia seeds. Something like that. I love adding the avocado in it because it makes it nice and creamy. And then the blueberries add some sweetness. Um, there's not a lot of fruit in it, it's really low in sugar. So if you wanna recreate this, just know it's not really sweet. You can absolutely add some more fruit, some more banana, sweeten of your choice. I just wasn't wanting that today, but it's still really good. It has a lot of great nutrients in it, healthy fats, vitamins, minerals, you know, the huge. Hey, so I just watched a TED Talk from someone named Dr. Terry Walls. She's incredible. She had MS, completely recovered, super brilliant lady. And she has this thing called the Walls Protocol. And it's really similar to how I've been eating, but I decided I'm going to really focus on adapting the full protocol. Kind of a summary of it is you do three cups of green vegetables daily, which I think I usually get that, and three cups of sulfur-rich vegetables, which could be like broccoli or asparagus, that kind of thing. Then three cups of red color, which is like peppers, berry, fruit, that kind of thing. And then having grass-fed meat several times a week, wild seafood several times a week, and seaweed at least once a week. So that's really similar to what I've been doing, but that's a great protocol. We're so nutrient deficient. We don't realize that we're just digging our own grave with our fork and knife, and that's a really, really great way to be eating. And I have to address that I realize I just have smoothie like on my lip dried up, so ignore that. It's dinner time, and James requested our burrito recipe. I had this recipe in a previous vlog. I'll link that in a card. But yeah, he's obsessed. I like it too. Okay, now we can eat. demolished. Do I have chocolate in my teeth? We had a really yummy dinner and I think we're gonna wrap up the vlog here. I wanted to let you know that I'm working on some really great new video ideas but I would love to hear from you, hear about what you want to see because I want to produce good content for you guys so leave me a comment if there's anything that you would like to see in particular. Give me any feedback that you have. If you like to consistently watch my videos and have not subscribed, please do that. It really helps support me and my channel and also it'll help you stay up to date with what's going on. Thanks for watching! Bye Felicia!